It's time for the big game, or as we call it at my house, it's stupid bowl time. <laughs> I just love it. We've been doing this for about 30 something years. It started out with just the men. That's when it became stupid bowl. They got really stupid watching the big game. And then the women got involved and the food got crazy. And we do everything from sides and entrees to appetizers and desserts, and it just becomes absolutely fantastic. You know how much fun it is to have all your friends and family come and participate in the big game, Stupid Bowl. Entrees are always a very special part of Stupid Bowl. So one thing that we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little pork tenderloin. Ooh, delicious, lovely, very easy to, to fix. Got about a one pound tenderloin. We're just gonna put in our dish right here and we're gonna make a lovely marinade, okay? We've got a quarter cup of bourbon, tablespoon of real maple syrup, couple of tablespoons of ketchup, half a teaspoon nutmeg, and some ginger. And I wanna whisk this together, just very simple. Love the spices, and oh, it already smells delicious. And what we're gonna do is just pour this over our pork tenderloin now, and just let it drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. How simple is this? Absolutely fantastic, and I just want to make sure that it gets kind of coated. And just kind of make sure you get it all around. Get a little foil. Let's cover this. Into the fridge overnight, and Big Daddy's going to put it on the grill for me. I have a friend in law enforcement and he assures me it's really okay to call this exactly what we call it, crack dip. <laughs> it's so addictive. It's absolutely fabulous. He brings it to football on Monday nights. We make sure that he brings double and triple batches when he comes to Stupid Bowl. It's absolutely fabulous and it's so simple and easy. First thing we're gonna do, just take a can of your Rotel and we just want to let that get a good drain going, okay? Really let it drain. So we're gonna set that aside. Now I've got in my pan here a pound of good pork sausage. So I'm gonna take this to the stove. We're gonna get it really browned, really crumbled up, and then we're gonna drain it. We've really been crisping up our, our sausage. I'm gonna get it out and let it drain. Onto some paper towels. There we go. We want every little bit of, as we call them in Louisiana, cri-cris. We want all the little crispies off of here. There we go. Every bit. Last little one. Okay, keep that, move this out of the way. There we go. Now, <clears throat> gonna put into my little pan, because the reason why I wanna put it in here is we can microwave it and keep it warm and yummy, okay? There's our drained rotels. Get out of there with the very last one. <laughs> Eight ounce block of cream cheese. My spatula's really nice and warm, and I'm gonna use that to kind of get in here and get this kind of melted and just smush through. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> and let's give this a really good, let me get all of that out that we possibly can. A good squeeze, ooh. And I think we're about ready to add to our dish, so let's go. There we go. Now this is going to be lovely and warm. Mm. 
and just take your spatula and just keep moving it around. It smells so good. <laughs> You'll find out why we call it crack dip. It is so addictive. It's so lovely. And I thank my little friend for doing this for me every single time. Oh, it's so good. All right, it's really mixed up. It really looks wonderful. Now there are lots of different options for serving this. You can always go to the microwave to really keep it warm. You can put it in a crock pot, especially if you're making multiple recipes. I recommend that. <laughs> or you could even put it in a chafing dish and let it be sitting on your buffet. Oh, it's all gonna work. It's all gonna be fantastic. Crack it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to the microwave. See you back in a minute. Well, we've gotten together our pork marinade. It's gonna be so delicious. And we've made our crack dip. Now we're gonna make one of my grandmother's favorite recipes. We're making Bill Platt dip. Bill Platt's a town in Louisiana. I don't know where this recipe came from, how she got it. I just know it's absolutely fabulous. So here we go. We're gonna get started. A little half a stick of butter. Turn on our eye. And we've got a cup and a half of onions. Melt that butter. And let's get this rocking and rolling. Okay, my onions are just the perfect color, just golden brown, looking so delicious. Now we're gonna add everything else. Now I've got about three 12 ounce packages of broccoli. Just some good broccoli cuts, absolutely delicious. Three cans of cream of mushroom soup. And let's start mixing this together. Now, I've got about three small cans, tops and bottoms, pieces, parts, whatever, of mushrooms. So in that's gonna go. Sliced or slivered almonds. This has the most wonderful crunch factor you'll ever believe, oh my goodness. So we're just gonna put them in. I've got three just nice sized cans of shrimp and I've drained them, and in they go. We're gonna mix all of this together. I've got that processed cheese now, so we just need another little fat factor in here. <laughs> Open up, there you go. Then we're gonna take our spatula and our big spoon, and just gotta cut it up. So we're gonna let this melt and bubble. We'll watch it and give it a good stir, and then we're gonna season. Well, I think all of our cheese is melted, and I want to get my Old Bay. <clears throat> I'm going to do about a tablespoon of this. Got a tablespoon here. And I want just a little bit of heat to it. There is some pepper in our Old Bay, but I want this to have just a good kind of zing, so it's kind of a lot of zhuzhs of a little hot sauce in there, but I think it's going to be great. This is so creamy and wonderful with the cheese and the mushroom soup, but it still has crunch with the almonds and the broccoli. So I think we're gonna be just fantastic. Now, off to our serving dish. <laughs> My friend Margie makes the most fabulous onion bake. Oh gosh, it's absolutely delicious. It's so smooth, it's so creamy, it's just fantastic. So let's see if we can put this together just the way Margie does. Let's start with a bag of chopped onions, frozen, thawed out, 12 to 16 ounces, okay? And put them in here on a little paper towel and let them really, really drain. We're gonna give them a good squeeze, but we're gonna let them do a little drain while we do everything else. Got in my bowl three blocks, eight ounces each, of cream cheese. Now, I've got two cups of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna start mashing it up because you really want everything blended very, very well, okay? Now, to kind of help this blend, 
I'm gonna do about a cup of mayo. And we really wanna work this a lot. And I'm just gonna work everything through. Get the tines of that pastry fork really working the cheese and the mayo and the cream cheese together. Oh my goodness. Get a little upper body workout. <laughs> we have 12 to 16 ounces, and I just wanna really, wanna squeeze, see all that liquid? Mm, get rid of it. <laughs> there we go. All right, without paper towels in our dip, <laughs> I think we got everything. That looks great. There we go, shake, shake, shake. Good, now let's take this Blend it one more time. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I think that looks great. I think we're blended. Let's get our spatula. Now, I've just got a kind of like a little pie pan. You can use a quiche pan or a pie pan or whatever. Just want to get this in here and pile it all in, kind of smooth it out. Isn't that look pretty? and just make a nice, pretty smooth top. You don't need to grease your pan or whatever. You have enough fat in here, believe me. We're going into the oven, 375 for about 30 minutes till golden brown. One of the things I truly love the best about Stupid Bowl is the fabulous sides that everybody brings. Everything from veggies and potatoes and salads and wonderful things. But my friend Jane always brings rice consomme. And guess what? It's the first thing to just fly out of the dish. First thing on the plates, it's always gone. It's always delicious. It's so easy. So thank you, my sweet Jane. I'm going to show you Jane's rice consomme. How easy is this gonna be? Two cups of rice, long grain. Just pop them in your casserole dish here. Now, we're gonna add two cups of French onion soup. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh wow, smells so good. Now we've got two cans of beef consomme. Wow. I can't tell you it smells so good already. It hadn't even cooked. I just love my sweet Janie for doing this for us every year. It's so easy, but it's so wonderful, and the men just love it. Now, we're going to add a couple of little small cans of, of mushrooms. Just pieces, tops, bottoms, parts, whatever, sprinkle over the top. Just, you want it to be so yummy. There we go. Now, we're gonna take a stick of butter and we're gonna do a few pats around the top. Just kinda put it in there. All the butter is in. <clears throat> Let's get a little tin foil over this. Now, into the oven, 350 for about an hour. Perfect. Oven's ready. Honey, thank you for cleaning the grill. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, the grill master has to do it. I know, you, you know, are the grill master. Everybody's got a job. <laughs> you, you do, and you have one, okay? It's your turn now. Okay. Look, I, you know, I did a different marinade, okay? Will you trust me on this? Yeah, I guess Yeah, I have get no, over it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's always good. Okay, I, I hope it is. I think you'll like it. I really do. Okay, we have a pork tenderloin in here, and I have a new marinade, and I used a little bourbon. Ooh, Ooh. you should love that. A little. Um, I don't have any marinade left. Well, no. <laughs> 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 you will. <laughs>
<laughs> no. <laughs> You're not drinking the marinade. You're just going to drizzle. Yeah. Well, hello. Okay. <laughs> Be still my heart. Okay. But look, it's got a little bourbon in it, a little ketchup, a little maple syrup, some nutmeg and some ginger. Ketchup. You love ketchup on every type of meat, I know, so you'll be real happy. Okay, will you do it for me? Yes, indeed. Okay, honey. All right, look, got your tongs, got your little mitts, your happy camper. Go be the meister, the master. I'll take care of this. Cook the meat. I'll make you famous. Be the meat cooker. Mwah! Love you. All right. The cooking lady just gave us this to cook. The grill meister is going to have to take care of it here in a minute. It's looking good. We've got uh, a beautiful piece of tenderloin. Preheated it up to 600 degrees. I'm now backing off of it. I'm going to try to get it down to 350, which is just about there, which is where I want to start cooking it at. So I got it hot, then I'm bringing it down a little bit. This should, should cook it really, really well. See that sizzle? It's a good hot grill. Let it grill a little on both sides, and then I'm gonna probably uh, put it on this top rack and let it finish cooking after I've seared it pretty good on both sides. Shouldn't take long. Oysters always play a big part of Stupid Bowl. Oh gosh, the men are outside, they're shucking, they're just doing great, they're bringing little treats into all the ladies, we're making sauces, but we're gonna do something just a little bit different this year. I'm gonna grill them, broil them. Ooh, delicious. So I've got some just beautiful oysters here and I'm gonna wrap them in a little bit of bacon. Cut about a half slice here all the way around and put in just a toothpick. And I wanna fill my pan right here, just full and delicious and they smell so good and fresh. There we go. And these are beautiful oysters. Absolutely gorgeous. Just a little bit here. All of that in there. There we go. About a dozen in here. I'm grabbing just a little bit of lemon pepper, okay? A dash on this side, this time, and they're gonna go under the broiler for a few minutes until that bacon starts to crisp up. Then we're gonna turn, okay, into the water. under the broiler and we may turn these a couple of times. Time to plate everything up. Everything's so delicious, so fabulous. Crack dip. <laughs> Thank you, my sweet friend, for this wonderful, wonderful recipe. So quick and so easy. Just delicious. How lovely. Now, Vilplat dip, here we go. Light and fluffy, beautiful. Look how gorgeous. Now, we've got our onion bake, and I've put together here just a little crackers and some little pita chips. Creamy, smooth, wonderful. Here's our rice consomme. Oh, just delicious. Look how beautiful this is. Now, we've got our oysters. We've wrapped them in bacon. They're absolutely fantastic. And I think the party's about ready to get started. Oh, here comes Big Daddy. Oh, the oh, it looks oh, gorgeous, honey. The Thank back. you, the Meister is here. It's lovely. I am ready, Freddie. Oh, gosh. You just do a great job. Thank you so much. Really good. I think it is. 
Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Look how pretty. I didn't do it to the grill, did it? Oh, honey. No, it looks great. You know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at that onion bake. Right, I'm sorry. Pretty good. No. <laughs> I want an good. onion bake bite. <laughs> you know, everybody else is gonna come running in here. Oh gosh. Oh look, honey. Look, Better look, 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 look. Jam, hard to get, but but good. Golly. Go, <laughs> oh, brother. Uh -huh. Yum. Okay. Oh yeah. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Okay. Now try this. Uh, you know. Did those beautiful oysters, and I just kind of drained them. It has a little mm. bit of lemon pepper on them. Mm. Gorgeous or what? Mm. Oh wait. Mm. 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 That's so creamy. Can't eat over about three fourths <laughs> of this. Of the rice content. Okay, look. I really don't like what it. What if I just get you a little bite here? Delish, delish. Gotta have a mushroom on top. You know how good that Horse is. Horse feed me, baby. I know. <laughs> Delish. Wonderful. Everything's great. I love stupid bowl. I do too. We have such a blast on the I know. Place, you know. Thanks for the tradition. I love I it. We enjoy it. All our friends. <laughs> I love all the friends coming. I love you for doing this. <laughs>